Okay, we're back. Hello, folks, again. This is Rotor Storm 331. Uh, back to doing my final run for the event. This time we're going to be playing Fall Fight Arcade. Um, as a form, uh, I do want to acknowledge real quick that I will be doing this with uh, Auto Fire Clyde. Just to give everyone a little heads up because this is pretty much a mash heavy game uh, for the most part, and I don't want to wear out my hands, so my apologies. Uh, but it does help, uh, it does improve uh, attack speed overall. So this is uh, auto fire slash turbo. So anyway, with that being acknowledged, uh, let's go on ahead. Hello, MTI. Anyway, everyone knows what Final Fight is, and probably the best way to play this game is with the Mara Metro City himself. We're going to start in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so this timeless classic involves Mike Hagar, former Street Fighter and uh, pro wrestler, as he gets elected as uh, Metro City's mayor, and unfortunately the Magyar decides to kidnap his daughter to force him to um, basically demand, uh, let them do whatever they want, as they've done uh, throughout the 1980s. So our objective here is to pretty much put an end to that. Luckily, Hagar's not alone in his quest to uh, met Justice out for the entire game, so as he'll have the Bougie Ninja guy as well as uh, Jessica's boyfriend Cody as well, both of them skilled fighters as well. If this was uh, based on Hokuto no Ken, Hagar would be the Kenshiro of Final Fight, obviously. The reason why I say that is because uh, Hagar does make an appearance in the uh, Slam Ants Master Game slash uh, Muscle Bomber. And uh, his entrance theme actually has uh, Oima Toyomato Sei uh, for its intro, entrance theme. So anyway, uh, stage one is not very difficult in general. Uh, we got Thrasher coming up. Uh, it is possible to do an infinite with uh, Hagar against uh, Thrasher, but I'm going to play it a little bit safe and just uh, swipe off these enemies. Thrasher. Yeah, that was pretty cheeky. Yeah, let's get rid of uh, Doug here real quick. And force that second wave to come out. Now, technically, uh, playing this game with uh, Turbo with Pat, uh, Cody is pretty fun to do, I might add. Ah, I took my first death, which I did not mean to do. Uh, that still happened. Well, I should probably point it out. This is probably not going to be a 1cc run. But, I'm going to do the best I can to do, uh, get this done. So anyway, that's uh, round one in a nutshell. We're going on to the subway park to um, chase after the Magyar. And of course, uh, this is when we're going to be starting countering more stronger members of the gang. Technically, the uh, Hollywoods and Algados are probably the worst ones to deal with in terms of annoyance and dealing with all of them. And of course, uh, a, large, a large amount of the enemies are, of course, based off of um, 80s culture. Of course, Endori being referenced to uh, Andre the Giant, uh, po Poison Axel, Slash, and Roxy being referenced to basically a uh, large amount of musicians. Capcom definitely loved its musicians back then. Of course, Hagar can't really outrun all these enemies. Uh, one problem with uh, using auto fire, though, is that um, it makes it very hard to um, <laughs> stop your attacks in time, which is another downside, even though it does improve my attack speed. Alright, so we got through all that. <laughs> At least we're going to lose another life here. Now, I, I'm holding forward while I'm swinging, and that's because our character uh, will usually move forward when they, um, when they attack with a weapon. Yeah, one of the things that's pretty annoying about... Uh, Algados and Hollywoods is the fact that these guys definitely love to um, stab you like far distance. They have pretty ridiculous reach with the knives. Of course, uh, when home console versions came out, uh, those of course got lowered. To, they changed the stance of the, those enemies to make it more easy to 
uh, not get hit by those knives. Now, Agar does get a bit of invincibility when um, he does chain throws, so... Oh! Well, what do you know? We defeated all the enemies and we didn't have to defeat, our, defeat the Jake there. So basically, you don't have to defeat every enemy to advance, just the ones that are blocking your path. So anyway, we're coming up against Sodom. We do want to be making jump attacks when he gets up, so that uh, if he goes for those charge attacks, he won't uh, hit us on, on wake up. Woo, we got a perfect Sodom fight. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Carpal Tunnel is definitely not fun. Alright, now that we've beaten Sodom, we go directly to our bonus stage, first bonus stage of the game. Uh, we're going to wreck up a Magir's uh, ride, pretty much. So while he's uh, in the store picking up uh, refreshments or whatever, we're going to wreck his ride and um, release some pent-up frustration with the Magir with that, with this. So anyway, we're going to be moving on to West Side. This is when uh, I think the game difficulty starts really picking up. Uh, for anyone that's, uh, if you ever seen people speedrun on this game, as well as myself, uh, many will tell you this is not a very easy run to do. Uh, most of the time, uh, you will get pretty good times if you have pretty good, um, pretty good areas. Uh, but not all of them are going to be very good. Uh, Uptown is pretty much one of the drawbacks of the um, the run in general. Yeah, I hate it when the two piece and J's decide to uh, do whatever the heck they want, pretty much. Got to grab him. That's fine. So now we're going to be moving into this bar here. Yeah, grapple strikes are pretty powerful in this game. We just gotta hope that Elgato doesn't try to pull a knife on us. Go ahead and pick up the sword. Here comes Wanhu, one of the members of the uh, Headbutt Brigade of uh, Magir. Yes, I learned that through uh, reading Wikipedia. Uh, from the Capcom's Wikipedia database, that is. Now, believe it or not, the gang still exists uh, in Street Fighter VI. Of course, their influence is no more. That was pretty much lost after this game in Final Fight II. Of course, one of their subordinate gangs, uh, Skullcross, does try to take over, but they fail in Final Fight Three as well. Alright, so we got the Endori Clan fight coming up. These guys are considered mini bosses. Uh, if you're playing two players, you will be fighting um, uh, one of the other Andorias. I think it's Andori Uncle. You do fight uh, Father Father Andori and uh, Grandpa Andori, or it could be the other way around. Anyway, I do want to get rid of this uh, Algon before we move forward. Yeah, one of the downsides about um, about these enemies, especially. Um, Especially the Algados is that they're pretty fast. Unfortunately, this doesn't help the fact that Hagar is pretty slow. Now, one of the downsides about um, trying to go fast in this game is that the enemies are very more prone to um, intercept your attempts to move forward. Even though the game tells you to go, they will just get right in front of you. Now, we're not going to advance forward because we're going to force Eddie to come out. Uh, he can be pretty dangerous with his strikes. We want to position ourselves in a way that he won't he won't grab us and start attacking us. So once he gets into this final health uh, bar, uh, he'll start going for the gun instead of uh, trying to club us. Uh, this way we don't let him get at get us. All right, we're going on to the industrial area. So right now we got enemy 
Jake's coming into the barbecue, as I usually call it. Of course, we don't want to be uh, being held up here. Now, as long as we don't move up or down, our character is safe from being burned. But uh, here comes most of the enemies. So we can lure all of these enemies, including the ones that will appear next, into the flames, and they'll get... Uh, ooh, I don't know if I moved or not. Whew. At, least, uh, at least we got through that pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit better doing the infinite with Hagar on uh, Turbo, but it's uh, still not perfect, of course. Which is why I don't try uh, doing that with uh, Thrasher at Stage 1. It is possible to do it, of course, but definitely does require some delicate movement. I'm going to pick up this sword because we got a Slash coming up. Unfortunately, that didn't go the way I wanted it to because of stupid Andori, aka Hugo. For those of you that are Street Fighter fans, I might add. Well, that's one way to stop uh, Poison from getting what she wants, obviously. didn't appear at all. <laughs> Alright, so we got past uh, that group. I don't know, by some dumb fluke, fluke or whatever. But at least we didn't take a death there. Of course, uh, now we gotta defeat all these enemies before we do battle with Rolando, of course. since uh, I usually try to have uh, plenty of health when fighting Roletto here. And that's because we want to use the uh, use the use the extra joy for the most part. That's like one of the few things that actually hits uh, uh, Roletto here pretty much. Alright, there we go. Alright, we did lose a life on that fight, but that was still good. Oh, uh, thank you for the raid, Toad uh, 22484. Now, we don't need to break all the glass, we're just going to bypass all of them. Now, of course, we don't get any bonus points, of course. That's, uh, that's beside the point, so we're going directly into Bay Area. Arguably one of the longest stages of the game aside from uh, uh, Uptown, and this is where we're going to be fighting a lot of um, specialized areas where certain members of the gang will be waiting for us. In fact, we'll be dealing with the Headbutt Brigade coming up first. Let's get rid of that slash. We don't want him causing problems for us. But yeah, the headbutt brigade. 
brigade uh, does quite a bit of damage in general. Let's clear the, that stuff out of the way. Come on. Sometimes when you're close to the Andoris, they seem to get priority. Alright, so we got past him, so we just have to deal with the barrels. pretty good. We don't need to pick anything up. I am going to try to skip past this area if we can. And stop it, Roxies and Poisons. Let me fight in peace. Talk about annoying. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get past all of them. Normally, if you were playing this casually, you would fight all of them one by one, even though that does eat up quite a bit of time. But at least we didn't lose a life on that fight, at least. Alright, so we're going to try to intercept the uh, enemies coming over here. Alright, we're going to try to get past all these guys pretty quickly if we can. Two P's and J's tend to be pretty annoying when I'm trying to do reverse jumps. <laughs> as long as you're staying in the middle like I am, you're going to probably be safe from just about everything, unless one of the enemies attacks you, of course. Alright, this is probably the hardest part of the entire level dealing with these blasted Hollywoods and uh, Algados, of course. And of course, it's going to get pretty worse once they start dropping more knives. safe side. We do have Abigail coming up, and he's probably the next worst boss. Of course, for anyone that's played the console versions, uh, you'll definitely do know how dangerous Abigail is. It's kind of weird how OP he was in uh, Street Fighter V when it, as a playable fighter. <laughs> okay, dog, that's enough. Technically, as long as you don't get in front of Abigail's sight, you're pretty much going to be okay for the most part. Unfortunately, he decided to grab me, which is one of his worst trademarks. You gotta be kidding me. I landed that hit. Fine, let's take that uh, death there. That was a bit of a slowdown if I ever saw it. Okay, I grabbed you, pal. Okay, there we go. Huh, that's pretty weird. I normally don't usually clear Great Bear Area underneath 18 minutes, so that's a first. I can't move 
my character the way I wanted it to. Yeah, sometimes you can get a recovery power driver when you do that move, though, obviously. about weakening enemies in this game is that if you use throws um, for the most part they will like literally uh, take less damage than normal even though this game is very he very heavily on damage alright so there's probably a good chance I'll probably continue on this stage which is no surprise but anyway we got the headbutt brigade waiting for us to greet us here so I am going to try to move forward without having to engage there's no guarantees. Yeah, I should not have done that. Now, if we get lucky, we can probably keep... Uh, Keep the firebombs from going off around our area. Alright, not bad. Looks like we made a small recovery. Not a huge one, of course. Yeah, I wanted to wait for a bit before... Um, We don't have to fight all the enemies, but this game literally just forces you to fight them sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Hagar's body blows are can't stop. Uh, unfortunately, cannot stop these um, knives. Unfortunately. But yeah, it's uh, it's a problem dealing with these uh, Hollywoods and Elgados for the most part. And unfortunately, we got a ton of enemies coming right at us. will be accompanied with uh, the speedy fighters. Man, I'm getting pounded over here. Not surprisingly, welcome to Uptown, folks. <laughs> continuing in a, in a bit if, if this keeps going the way it is. Alright, so we got past that. So we gotta, we gotta move against these Algados and the Hollywoods, unfortunately. Well, at least we got rid of the Algado. Don't even try that, Hollywood. Wait until we get into this next part where most people would call it as the the all-powerful stop area. Let's get rid of that 
to pee because we don't want to be dealing with him along with the Elgato and Hollywood. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that, that was kind of a long shot. But hey, you gotta give me credit for making it this far without continuing. And I can tell you right now, once you've seen this game, it's not easy. You gotta give your hat to those that actually do pull it off without failing. I should know firsthand from experience just how difficult that can be. Alright, we're coming up against Belgar. Uh, we do want to try to sub a strat if we can. my best one since um that's probably my best one uh, ever <laughs> unfortunately i'm getting close to that 25 uh minute mark but i'm still around the 26 yep it's that hit squad you're indeed right all rock thank you for the gg all rock Woo, that was, i gotta say that was a pretty impressive run <laughs> got through most of that without having to continue <laughs> up until the head squad part all right thank you for the ggs all rock um Empty Eye, Resec Ever, Uno Squid, um, Sal, uh, Hawk. Thank you for the GGs. And of course, thank you uh, and shout outs to uh, RGL TV for inviting me over again for uh, Feed the Kids Marathon. This is definitely a well for the cause to support, support those that are in desperate need during the holidays, especially those that can't feed themselves. So if you're if you're capable of donating, feel free to donate whatever amount you want. Um, anything uh, goes directly towards charity, and that would help them any amount of bit. That would help. I mean, it could be $1, $5, $10, $20, whatever. Whatever helps uh, for this good cause. Anyway, there's going to be there's still some more runs to enjoy watching before we uh, get to the end of this uh, marathon. And coming up next, the Big Mike uh, 1983 will be doing... Two rounds of Godzilla games plus uh, Ninja Spirit. So make sure you get those donations for uh, the Ninja Spirit uh, run if you want them to do either the Turbo Graphics 16 or any of the other systems that's on it. But anyway, I'm going to hand it on over to uh, RGL TV, and that's going to conclude my time here for this event. Anyway, thank you all again for having me over. Thank you for the GG's uh, Laura SLRL. And anyway, that's going to be it for me. This is Rotorstorm331 signing off. Have a great day. Take care and enjoy the rest of this marathon.